The case is a patient who is 56 years old who was diagnosed with stage four ovarian carcinoma, who was, di who was treated with a platinum and taxane um, and surgery. She then had recurrence a year later, was retreated with platinum and taxol with Avastin, followed by Avastin maintenance. Um, and then her third line of chemotherapy at recurrence, she was treated with uh, platinum and Gemzar, followed by no maintenance. And then um, currently she's, uh, she now has a recurrence uh, with disease in her lung and elevated CA125. And so I do agree with the majority of how this patient was treated. Probably I would do a few things differently. Um, I likely would have treated her with her first recurrence with the platinum um, doublet, so carboplatin taxol versus carboplatin doxol, um, followed by a PARP inhibitor for maintenance. Um, I likely would hold her Avastin for when she became platinum resistant. I do think there's higher efficacy in that population because um, treatment options are less. Uh, but we do know that you can use uh, Avastin in, in, um, multiple times in somebody's treatment. I do think that the treatment today would be slightly different than it was several years ago. Um, we would do genetic testing, genomic and somatic, so specifically uh, BRCA testing as well as HRD testing currently with initial treatment um, because we do think that if somebody is either BRCA positive or HRD positive, we can actually offer them PARP inhibitor maintenance after primary chemotherapy. It is now approved. And so that's something that I would offer patients routinely at this point. <clears throat> um, as for treatment at the recurrent setting, um, like I said prior, I likely would if tr treat patients with PARP inhibitors as maintenance after uh, platinum um, response in a recurrent setting. There's more and more studies looking at PARP inhibitor after PARP inhibitor to see if there's efficacy um, after patients are treated with PARP inhibitors initially and then would patients still respond with subsequent PARP inhibitors. But I think the biggest change from several years ago is the um, uh, utility of genetic uh, testing, specifically genomic and somatic testing.